Dumelang. Welcome to today's practice video. Before we look at the future tense, I'd like to go over three really important words we've uh, had in our lessons so far. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So, yesterday, ma bane. You can maybe remember with the mnemonic of my bunny. So try and make a picture in your mind of my bunny and associate it with yesterday. I don't know what you want to use there, maybe the song yesterday. Um, it's hard to really visualize a point in time, but if you can associate yesterday with your bunny, ma bane will stick. And with time you won't need the, the association or the mnemonic anymore. The next word, hom pieno meaning today, you can maybe remember with hom, Afrikaans for glue, and piano. So maybe you can visualize that red block in your calendar that signifies today. Today is the day you're going to finally fix the piano with glue, hom piano, as an idea. And tomorrow, gamoso. Uh, if you speak Afrikaans, this mnemonic might help you when you delay things and you say, oh, I can do it tomorrow, you know, it's gamos more to do, gamos, I can mos more, it's gamos wacht tot more to so gamoso. So the future tense is very easy, you just add kla between the personal pronoun and the verb. So I will speak kitla bua, I will learn kitla tuta. I will go kitla tamaya or kitla ya if you're going somewhere. Um, I will learn to speak Tswana. Kitla ituta hobua sitswana. We will learn to speak Tswana. Ritla ituta hobua sitswana. Some of the verbs from this lesson tameka to play. So if your goal is just to be able to speak to a level that you can be understood then you won't mind using English words um, in between and it's useful to at least know the, the main verb like Tameka even if the thing you are playing be it golf or tennis or rugby you can say in English so Kitla uh, Kitla Tameka golf Kamo so I'm going to play golf tomorrow or Piano. I play piano. Church bells everywhere in Switzerland. And um, another verb, bua to return. Kitla bua kamoso. I will come back tomorrow. It sounds the same as bua speak, it's just spelled differently. But as I've written the notes in phonetic script, um, it's spelled the same as well. Utla uh, bua leng. When will you come back? So that's it for, no, that was not it for today's lesson. I wanted to still go over uh, nale. To have, you say, I have, I am with that thing. So I have water, ki nale metzi. I have um, food, ki nale dijo. I have money, ki nale madi. Um, if I want to ask you, if, do you have uh, unale bana? Do you have children? A uh, unale bana. This A is just the question particle. And then, um, do you have money? Unale madi. Madi. I don't have. Ha. And then ki na. And then we drop the le. So le falls away in the negative. Ha ki na madi. I don't have money. Ha ki na putsu. I don't have a question. Ha ki na matata. I don't have a problem.